Hello, everyone. Hello. I know we're a couple minutes late. I'm waiting on a certain special guest to hurry the fuck up and get in here. Come on. What's going on? It's fine. Everything's all good. I just figured I'd go in here and pad and let you know it's an intentional. Well, it's not an intentional delay. You know, we would like to get started here soon. But it isn't a thing that anybody's got to worry about. We will get the show going in no time at all. I hope you're very excited for another Die Another Friday. I know I am. I have a question for the chat. Uh, let's see if you know this. So I talked about a Rattler on the podcast, which is a Pilsner and ginger ale. And we're doing like a little drink and stream today. Or no, a Pilsner and Sprite. We're doing a little... Uh, everybody's got beers. So I was like, I'll get one too for the booth. And I got a ginger ale and a Pilsner. But I'm like, will that be good? It's not Sprite. So chat, will that be good? Or is that bad? Is that going to be a bad combo? Or will it, it, will it serve the sweet soda thing? Please let me know. I haven't combined them yet, but I'm ready to do so. And I'm asking chat, but I'm going to do it either way. So instead of Sprite ginger ale, everyone's talking. Y'all are nodding. They're, I'm getting the thumbs up. They say it's good. I don't think that any of them have had a Rattler. Mike, have you? Nope, they're good. Good summer drink. I think it's German. Oh, people are saying bad. Um, drink of milk and Pepsi. I've had it and it's fine. It's sort of like, a, you know, kind of tastes like a, a Coke float, but like with the melted stuff. Some people are saying, a lot of say, people are saying bad. Better with a lemon seltzer. They'll just water it down. Okay. I feel like no one's... Just, I feel like people are saying, I don't know. I think everyone just... Because these probably are also people who are saying Sprite and Pilsner is bad. But have they had it? Because it's actually quite good. I'm going to try it either way. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Our guest is here. Our guest is here. They're taking their seat, which means we are ready to fade to black. Here we go. Fade to black. Here we go. I'll give you folks a little uh, peek behind the curtain here. Uh, so we, we usually start at uh, 3.30 is the plan. Uh, but we decided, hey, we'd get some nice uh, some drinks here. There's some leftover stuff from Third Thursday in the fridge. We were all sitting down ready to go. And then our guest here, Jeff Backlar, had to run and he grab his... scoot in he, a little bit. He had to grab his snifter, and he had to pour the beers okay. in there and sniff it and, and, and check the check the years on all of them, uh, mm. see which cellar they came from, see what rating they got in his favorite uh, craft beer magazines. I had to do the rash test. Yeah, he had to do the rash <laughs> test. You, and it's when you scrape your arm and just pour beer on your arm and see uh, how red it gets. Yeah, and he stuck his nose up and said, not up to my standards. But and I'll I still literally be on. don't have a beer. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It, I'm sorry, I'm sorry we're not up to your standards here, but hey, you said, uh, hey, I'll, I'll still be on your little dog and pony show, so thanks for gracing us. That's a direct quote. Yeah, it is, yeah. You want a Sammy Adams light? Yeah. <laughs> That kind, of blows, that kind of blows up my whole elitist thing I was going with here. I know, I gotta undo No, this that. is the elite of light beers, All obviously. Right, sure. yeah, Actually, no, this, is is the, this is the Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks of light beers. That's Thank fair, you. exactly. That's what I, everyone says. That's definitely a reference that Jeff Bacalar gets. Yes, uh, definitely. I'm gonna drink this and pretend it's good. Okay. Hey, it'll work. Look, it twists off like beer should. Oh, it is a twist off? Good. I don't uh, know, I'm hey. moving it though. No, <laughs> it's not a twist off. Ah, <laughs> I'm bleeding. The rash test, that's See, where it gets its name from. <laughs> we have another guest, we have uh, Mike Maharty from uh, GameSpot.com. I'll drink anything. That I have seen, I know that. Well, that's not true. You taught me I'm how to shock and a beer. Yeah, it was Bud Lights. Yeah. What was that, Abby? I asked if you drink piss. Oh. Well, he drinks Bud Lights. It's the right situation, but not, not a like... No, I wouldn't go out of my way to do it. I like that the first one was like, I won't say no. Yeah. yeah. I like how you uh, teach me to shotgun a beer when I was like 29 years old. Halloween 2012. That sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, like maybe 10 years after I should have learned how to do that. I never had the breath control for that. It the, sucks. The physics of beer shotgunning, I don't understand them, but like I remember you learning it. You're like, how does this work? I didn't understand it at all. Like when you open it up, I don't understand what crazy chemistry is happening in the can to well, shoot also, it down your we gullet there. We were using keys. We were at our friend's house. So you, I just told you to use a knife and you like really jabbed it. I'm like, this is a bad idea. How? <laughs> Yeah. How did you not end up with just a bloody face? I had a great night. It was fantastic. Bloody lips. It was a good time. Yeah, because I showed you how to make the hole huge so it's easier. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's easier or harder than beer bonging. Because uh, I, I used to beer bong in college, and that's intimidating too. Mm -hmm. That's just the whole thing is just rushing down your face. I guess it's the same thing with it. It's a, a similar concept. Yeah, yeah, but I think it's the jagged metal aspect. I can deal with a, a <laughs> yeah. plastic funnel. That's easier than jagged, horrible metal. 
Have you heard of Detonator, this game? No, what's that? It's very stupid. Uh, we did it in high school, if it gives you any indication. I, okay. This was, this was 10 years ago or so. Yeah, and back in when high school was 10 <laughs> years ago. You take, yeah. Remember take, that? Take an unopened yeah. can of beer, and you would stand in a circle and smash it against your forehead, and whoever broke it had to chug it. <laughs> That's uh, incredibly that, stupid. Wow. I cut my forehead, and we stopped. I have a scar from it. Really? So don't do that. Let yeah. me see. It's like Jeff. Oh yeah, Jeff wow. is prominent. He's juicing for the for <laughs> yeah. the match. Yeah. Here's a wrestling reference for Jeff. It's like the Sandman. You know that one? I, I remember the Sandman. All right, the, we can make the, wrestling the references. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Everyone on this table has he some seemed, level he of seemed intelligent. <laughs> yeah. Well, what if you what do you say we exit light, enter night, and get this string oh, going? Oh, look at this, yeah. Master. Yeah. We're just waiting to toss him something there. All right, let's do uh, it. Lars Ulrich's gonna sue me. Let's play the Golden Eye. <laughs>